board. <laughs> it's like easy as part of the thing is stumping us. How'd you do that? Puzzles, yeah. Uh, we got merch. We do. Yeah. You've seen us wearing them in the last few episodes, these hats here. Yeah, we're, tr we're having an internal debate here on what the best hat is that we got. So we're going to let you guys decide. I'm going with the classic mesh back, the one yeah. I'm wearing now, right? Gray mesh back snapback. Yeah, Tony's all about the mesh back. I got the snapback with the, uh, like, we call this? I don't know, just the regular snapback? It's yeah, got the full back. I don't know. The, there you go, 950 and yours is what, a 940. New Era. So they're, they're New Era. I really love New Era hats. They just make good stuff. Yeah, cool. So, uh, so you vote on which design you like the best and the winning design will draw one person from that group to win a hat. What if we, what if we drew one from each one? So one like each the one. winner and the loser and we give away one of each hats. Okay. Yeah. So we'll vote for your favorite type. Um, and yeah, and so we'll pick a winner from whoever voted for this, the snapback regular and yeah. the mesh back. Please mesh back. let this one win. Yeah. It's the better hat. We'll see. The loser will have to have to do something. <laughs> oh, and also, <laughs> hey, give us a hundred likes. Let's shave this guy into a mullet, right? Yeah, and let's egg Tony's house. So watch episode so we'll 41. Yeah, we got endorsed by Puzzle Guys, so that's cool. Yeah, he's, he's on there, man. He's, he's helping us get to a hundred likes. Yeah. You know what's the funny thing though? Tony lives in <laughs> a rental owned by Alan, the puzzle master. So essentially we're egging Alan's house. We're both gonna egg his house. <laughs> yeah. It'll take some time too. I don't have a lot in the back here. So if I want to do a mullet, maybe I could do the Euro mullet. We can just shorter. We'll cut it into the side and let you grow it out a little. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Tony will go at me with a razor. That's really what you'll get out of that. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, votes, favorite hats, winner. We'll send them one out for you, to you for, you know, of each one. Cool. Yeah. Um, puzzles. Let's puzzles. get into that. Which one do you want to do first? I don't know. What do you think? Let's go with the. We'll go with the Lotus. Lotus. Okay. Lotus puzzle. Not a new puzzle. This oh. is a restock. We recently got back in stock. That had been out of stock for a while here at Puzzle Master. Ooh. The little peanut. Yeah, a little peanut. They're holding the piece in. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Also, you get this card with it. Yes. It says mind the gap. Yep. So this is a puzzle from Will Stribos. Um, uh, this is not just a puzzle from Will Stribos. This is the puzzle. This is his like big pièce de résistance. <laughs> no, it's, his, it's his big puzzle. This one is very popular, and it's very popular because of Chris Ramsey. Don't take out or remove the small black pin in the front of the lotus. What does that mean? Looks like there's a little pin right there. Right okay, in the front don't here. Take it out. Don't take that out. You can actually see there's a little metal piece there. You can see. Oh, yeah. A, that must be like a key to open it or something. Key or, yeah. Well, okay. So before we shot this, uh, Alan, the puzzle master, he showed it me a bit of it. To do with the solution. Yeah. Yeah. So your challenge is to find out why the puzzle is called the Lotus Flower. There is two surprises inside the puzzle and you got to take it apart you can see there's like a, a dovetail kind of here on the side where two pieces meet and Classic flop around wheel. there's a spinny part there a wheel that moves and then there's also a pin that goes in and out and spins there is a piece here with you can see a Both metal pins. pin inside there and it's this is actually threaded and then there's that front hole with that black pin you can see what looks like a metal piece behind it of some kind, maybe a 
key or whatever as Tony surmised. But uh, yeah, and then there's the name on the front and Will's signature as you see on all his, his puzzles. So we do have some in stock as we uh, shoot this. I don't know what that's gonna be like here in the future, but uh, get them as soon as you can on puzzlemaster.ca. Yeah. I'm gonna do even one move. No, I don't want to. I don't want to wreck this one. This one's. This is just such a beautiful puzzle. I mean, can I, I'll tell you this. How about this? This pin right here. You got to get that out. That's the first move. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to give yeah. it away. Oh, yeah. we'll, we'll do. We're gonna move on to another puzzle here. We'll do some stuff on that. I I, I know a solution on that a bit, and that one's a little more doable. Okay. This one's just. This one's insanely hard. So, Lotus. Yeah. It's cool. It's good. Great puzzle. It's kind of like the. Yeah, it's been around, but it's good. Okay, on to puzzle by Kagan Sound. Kagan Sound. It's called the Rune Cube Limited Edition. I wonder what that means. Uh, I think there's it's limited amounts he makes. Yeah, well, he uses a bunch of different really cool woods. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, have you, you played with his other ones? Did we a little shoot? bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's like wood boxes. With the internal mazes. Yeah. yeah. I like the one where it has the, is it the bee box? Bee maze? I don't know. It's the one with like the, I think it's got a disc on the front that you move oh, around. Yeah, yeah. I like that one. Yeah. They're cool. A bunch of really cool ones. Phenomenally made like puzzle boxes. I think these are probably top of the line wood puzzle boxes. Yeah. So this one. Dude, a little something added to this one too. You can redesign this whole thing. You can. That's what this is actually. There's uh, inside here. This is not a solution. This is. Oh, there's. Oh, a, I guess there's okay. a solution inside. But this is. Uh, this puzzle is essentially a modular puzzle. Um, it says it's 115 move, but uh, that is the hardest difficulty. So I think it comes in a six move or something like that. 15 yeah. move. But then what's going to happen is you're going to get that front piece off inside. There's an Allen key, which allow or hex key that allows you to open these. So you put it in, unscrew the piece here and uh, you can move this puzzle around or change it. And so there's like five or six, I think different levels that you can make this all the way up to that 115 move where you, so you, it gives you instructions on how to reassemble it. Essentially, you can make it a harder puzzle or an easier puzzle, depending on what you want. Okay. Oh, no, 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 see, man. See now, look at you. Got to get this one down. I know. I, I so see. Then, yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to follow the line, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's got to get down. So then this one's got to get out of the way. So then that one yeah. get out of the way. <laughs> well, I need to get this one. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna try to do it I too. I gotta go the back way, man. Let's see if we can get this. Oh man. Okay. You oh. get it. Oh. You thought you got it? I thought I uh, like unlocked this piece. Yeah, we, okay, we gotta get this. We gotta get this somewhere here. We, we can do this, I believe in us. We have done, we've done some difficult puzzles on our show here, hey? Not many. Not a lot. I'm not saying we've done tons, but, oh, look at this, look at this, I got it. There. Oh, no. And then this one, see now look, there, underneath, there's another piece there that, Oh, there we go. It just lifts up. Yeah, yeah that's right. There you it go. just lifts up and then comes out. So there, and then you, uh, I don't know how to do go. It, this goes. No, it's like lifts up. There we go. There. So Whoa. underneath. Oh, it gives you, look at it. It's numbered. So you see a number. 129 and 200. Yeah. 2020. And it's even like, it's inlaid in there. Or it's like a cool. logo. Okay. So then you open that and then inside is Tiny Allen key. Tiny, tiny Allen key, which when you open it, it allows you to like unscrew these and then take them off. And in here Make is your instructions. A cube. Yeah. So wow. I thought that was pretty sweet. It's a cool, cool puzzle box. It's yeah. I've never seen a modular puzzle, which is essentially what this is. Yeah. Yeah. So I wonder if there's six different uh, configurations that you can do. There was or something it... like that. Yeah, I think there was like a 15 move, a 25 move, something like that, 50, 75, something along those lines that you could do. Wild. Yeah, really neat. I, I thought this was quite interesting. Kagan seems to come up with... Uh, I think you gotta go edge in first. Right, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah there we go. That's what you mean, yep. Yeah. 
He seems to come up with pretty unique stuff, and I think really beautiful wood designs. There, because then, dude, no, just center. What do you mean? It should slide a little. There oh, there we go. Okay, right, gotcha. Okay, so then this goes back on there. And this just has, see, it has to be all the way over. So that has to be all the way over. And then, and then you're in to this stuff. There we go. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now what's, let's get, try to get this back to the start then. There, 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 it's back. Oh, okay. What a mess. That's good. We did, man, see, we are progressing as a channel here and as people. We didn't even need to take this to Alan to get fixed. So, breaking a 27 year long streak. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's the Rune Cube by Kagan, Kagan Sound. Sound. It's a level nine. I don't totally know how we, I guess level nine would probably be the rating of that 115 move one. Yeah. I guess you'd rate the hardest level. I would hope that's at least the way we did it. So, yeah, that's cool. Really neat. New from Kagan Sound, at least new here at Puzzle Master. So, yeah. On to Aaron's Anomalies. Have you seen uh, Puzzle Box 04? Siebenstein Spiel? Tried to solve it one time. Yeah. It's got two funky keys. I actually really like it. It's a good puzzle. If you want to watch, actually, um, QB does it too on his channel. He has, it's a Spanish guy. So, if you know how to speak Spanish. Check out QB's page on your channel on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, Aaron's Anomalies, Puzzle Box 04. Welcome to Aaron's Anomalies. Aaron, what do you have for us today? We got a Puzzle Box 4. Puzzle Box 4, cool. Okay, this one looks awesome. Who's this from? Uh, Siebenstein Spiel. Siebenstein, and the level? Uh, this is a level eight. Okay, so like most of the puzzles you do, there's always something a little different. Is this one just a really good design? Like it looks cool? Yeah, yeah, I, I like this. I've done three of these puzzle boxes from Siebenstein, and I think this is my favorite so far. So it comes with some funky looking keys here. Yep. So we got two different keys, and they got numbers on them: zero four two zero four one. I don't know if that means anything. Actually, and there's no there's no hole to put the keys. But notice this: like, the key kind of like I don't know fits in here. Like, I I don't know. I noticed there's some shapes. Like the end of the key almost fits like that, and then these almost I don't know. It looks like it almost fits into those grooves. I mean, maybe I'm dreaming, but <laughs> yeah. So there's no keyhole though. Nope. No keyhole, and two keys. And there's this piece that moves on the top and spins. And then there's these puzzle pieces laid in here, which it looks like at the very least, this middle one comes out. And I don't feel, see, it feels really tight. Yeah, well, actually, that back one maybe feels a little loose, but I don't know if that's anything with the, the solution. <laughs> I feel like maybe this is one you just, just show the solution. Just show? I don't feel like I'm gonna get anywhere. Yeah, you, no. Let's just see it. Let's, let's see okay. the solution here. So this piece, Let's we'll see. It goes diagonal. Oh, okay. And then you can just remove this puzzle piece. It just has two <laughs> slots. Okay. Yep. Okay, so now I'm seeing some keyholes here. And then Maybe. you can kind of see in there, and you guys at home can actually even see in there. There's just oh, a hook yeah. at the bottom and a disc. Okay. So I'm just gonna hands off from here and see. Uh, see, see what I can get from here. Yeah. Yeah. See what you. So now these keys don't come off the, the, the string either. That's the other thing. Like I was thinking you could take them off and maybe feed them in there. But. So that, that goes in. Maybe maybe some sort of a spin. Oh, you can, you can move the hook with this key. <laughs> well, what does this other key do though? Well, that might. Can I, can I move? Let me see. Let me see if I can. Okay. Am I am I right? Am I correct? And can I move the hook? Oh, you good. can. You can definitely move the hook. But then, does this key do something? 
Uh, oddly enough, and this is kind of the neat thing, they put so much imagination into this puzzle, you don't even use the keys. What? Yeah, those keys are just red herrings. Red herrings. So I, I've seen that before. Trick Lock 7 is kind of like that too. Oh, it was, totally is. 100%. Now this actually, I'm gonna call this cat logic, where you're like, your owner goes and buys you like this really nice toy or whatever, and you're just gonna play with the box. Okay. You use the string that holds the keys. What? No way. <laughs> and you just feed it in there. And then grab the hook. Yeah, and you just oh, get the hook. That's so dirty. Yep. Yeah, the string just has enough tension that you okay. can just. And you hook it on. You just pull it up. And there's just and a plate on the bottom. Releases. Yep. Okay, let's see this. Let's see. I wish so, it disassembled uh, a little further. Yeah, that is. So it's a magnet. So the hook is a magnet. Yep. And you can kind of see it there. And you're pulling the magnet off. So how do you reset it? Does it just... Yeah, you just put it back closed and it just drops in. Yep. Okay. And then this goes back into there. And then goes back in the middle. Yep. That's sweet. I like that. Yeah, that's neat. It makes you think that you really need those keys. Like they give you like such a weird specific <laughs> yeah. shapes. And it's and like, like, oh, there's gonna be some cool stuff that we're doing with this key. And, and it does almost like line up in the back here where you look like, oh, maybe it like spins or. Oh yeah, huh. for the longest time, I was just like, what do you do with these keys? <laughs> that's man? so good. You got numbers on them. Yeah, and like the little <laughs> hole and like. Oh yeah, they're oh, like my goodness. super interesting looking and you do nothing with them. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Puzzle Box 4 from Jean-Claude, no, Siebenstein. Uh, Siebenstein. Yeah. Siebenstein Spiel. Siebenstein yep. Spiel. That is awesome. <laughs> okay, that was Iron's Anomalies. Puzzle Box 04. Now to the, the online, online buzz. buzz. <laughs> that was okay. I'm, yeah. giving, I'm giving some time. We got that new intro, remember? The bees. So I got to give some time for that intro to hit. Okay. Did <laughs> <laughs> you stop? No, no, I, I, well, I did. It was purposeful, though. So uh, yeah, on the online buzz, have you been you've been watching stuff? Tony's always into puzzles, man. That's like so all his puzzles, his man. Um, yeah. So QB did a puzzle. Actually, caught my eye. So um, QB, like I said there before, Aaron's anomalies. QB is Spanish. He speaks Spanish in his videos. He does a lot of unboxing. He had one from Tucker Jones. So Tucker Jones does like these huge, metal, bulky yeah. metal wood, metal puzzles. And this one was called Self Restraint. And it looked like a couple of like old school like hand handcuffs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like shackles. Like it looked legit. Like it could. So caught my eye. I watched a bit of the video. It was great. Um, yeah, lots of fun, but. Okay, interesting thing. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Tucker Jones makes a whole line of these metal puzzles, big, huge things, right? And uh, back in 1991, they got a request for a solution to a puzzle called Dirty Dog that they have. And the, the request was, it was like handwritten. It was from uh, the, um, George Bush senior and was requesting that they send a puzzle solution to the White House. Sick. Yeah. So he had been working on this dirty dog puzzle and couldn't do it. And then I think it in it he had like talked about how it like hurt his pride and that he needed a solution <laughs> or something. So cool. yeah. If you want a puzzle with maybe a bit of nostalgia, then try the dirty dog from Tucker Jones. Um see if you're smarter than George Bush <laughs> Senior. <laughs> see if you're <laughs> smarter than George Bush Senior, which uh, take that for what it is, I guess. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So that was neat. Um, Tucker Jones. Um, Chris Ramsey, we talk about him all the time. He shot the Rune Cube. Um, and the interesting thing, actually, in Rune Cube, he shot, he, he did a quick thing at the start uh, showing you a bit about Cast Love, the new one from Haniyama. We really like it, so check out that. And then he also had his Lotus puzzle, which we talked about 19 million views. That's a great Two one. Two years ago, eh? Two years ago, yeah. Jeez. Time flies. Oh, yeah. And then I was also watching one, um, you know, Oscar Van Deventer, uh, Van Deventer, I should say. Is that what I guess says it? Van Deventer, yeah. 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 There you go. So okay. I was told Dutch. that. That's, yeah. That's how you do it. So he was doing a puzzle, and it wasn't really a puzzle, I guess. It was called Swapping Helixes. Helixes. It's like... Um, take like, pretend you have, it's a 3D printed puzzle, and I was like, and you, you get a genius guy like Oscar with 3D printing, man. Oh, some of the stuff he comes out with, 
crazy. So this one looked like a rainbow and it was like four little bars that were bent kind of. And then they had, they ran in tracks kind of on the bottom. And so they all connected to each other in that track. But then when you spun it, they'd spin in back into each other. And it would make oh, like, weird. you could change the order of them. So there's like the red one at the top and he'd spin it and then it'd be at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then, so you could change the order. It was really neat. It was not a puzzle, but it was kind of just neat in the design. Yeah. And he also had a thing where it couldn't go backwards because otherwise it, you could take it apart really easy. So there's a mm -hmm. pin that like stops you or something it. from yeah. going backwards. Cool. So yeah, swapping he helis, hel helices, helices. I think it's the word that he used, but that's <laughs> what the video is called. So interesting. Um, yeah, Oscar's just, the guy's another level of smart. And so he comes up with stuff like this. that's just like, it's really interesting. It's unique. It's like more like a fidget toy. I'd call this one. Mm -hmm. um, and then two, to do another two brass monkeys. Yeah. Brand new puzzle on Kickstarter. I think yeah. actually we should, we're shooting this. It's the, what, September 10th today. So it's on, day, yeah. yeah, in like 27 or in like a day, their Kickstarter's done. So, oh, so make sure the back end of it. Yeah, yeah, make sure you check it out. I'm sure we're gonna get it here at Puzzle Did you Master. See what it is? Yeah, it's called the Kong puzzle. Okay. So now you've seen on two brass monkeys, they have the brass monkey one and two, and it's like the pieces that in like the two the cylinders that like interlock. Right? There's oh, like yeah, six yeah. of them okay, and they yeah, all yeah. there's two two puzzles like that. The Kong does like six tubes on one side, four it's like Oh, it's two brass. It's like the day. brass monkeys, but like massive. It's yeah. huge. It's a four pound puzzle. Oh. Four pound puzzle. It's called the Kong puzzle. Um, yeah, it looked really sweet. Um, we're going to get it here at Puzzle Master. I promise you that. That's super so, cool. <laughs> yeah. Check out the Kickstarter though. Really good. Um, see if you can get it on the back end of that. Um, if not, man, wait, wait around a little bit. We'll get it here at Puzzle Master, but the Kong. And you, okay, here's the best part about it. So it comes in these, like it has, I think 12 or 10 brass tubes in it. If you, uh, if you get on it though, they have a, uh, a little metal briefcase with like form fitted foam in it oh, that sweet. each of the pieces fits into. Oh, so that's it, sweet. <laughs> you have your own like brass carrying case. And that's my favorite thing about two brass monkeys. Yeah. Great puzzles, but they do really cool, unique packaging. packaging. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, the one that opened, like had the banana that you zippered open. Yeah, man. I love that. Well, that was like, Feed the Monkey. Get some sweet packaging, bump it up 20 Yeah, exactly. Two Brass Monkeys does it well. So like, yeah, you can get your own. It was a metal, it was like a metal case that opened up a briefcase, like mm -hmm. a little one, so. That's super cool. Yeah, and so in ordering it, you could get like just the base puzzle by itself, or if I think for like 20 pounds more, you could get it in the case, and I would highly recommend <laughs> the case because it looked awesome. Cool. So, yeah, that uh, that's the online buzz. That's it. That is. So yeah. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, TikTok. Vote for your favorite hat. Vote for your favorite hat. Go like our last video and we'll cut Tyler into a mullet. <laughs> yeah. Like our last video. 100 likes, mullet, egg in the house. Get in on all the things. Mom. Get your hat. Thanks guys for watching. See ya.